This is third grade Go Math lesson 1.3. And today, specifically for my class, we're just going to be focusing on rounding. Uh, we're not going to, compatible uh, numbers are not part of our standards. So if you're in my class, uh, we're not going to be worrying about compatible numbers. So uh, one thing I will say, since we are rounding, is that um, I plan us for the first two groups of questions. All these we're going to round by tens, and then seven, eight, and nine we'll round by to the nearest hundreds. All right, so just kind of starting off and looking at number one, even though they did this one already, they use compatible numbers. Um, if we're rounding to the nearest ten, we always have to make sure we look at the ones. So uh, if I look at my ones here, remember five or higher, we're going to round up. And so that means the nine is going to go up to the next number, which would be a new 10, correct? So then we have to regroup. And so that would give this the extra 100. And that would make 200 because this is closer to 200 than it is to 190. Uh, for this one, so this will stay 200. For this one, instead of using 725, um, we're going to round to the nearest 10 again, so this will end up with a 0 in the 1. So we're looking at the 1s. It's, it's higher than 5, uh, number 7. So that means we're going to round the 10s digit up. So instead of 727, it's going to be 730. So we'll simply 0 plus 0, 0 plus 3, and 7 plus 2 would be 930, which is obviously very close to using the compatible number strategy. Um, I will do two more. I'll do uh, number 4 and number 7 over here. Um, I'll show you how it's done. Again, if we're running to the nearest tens, we're going to look at the ones. The ones tell us that we do not need to round up because it's less than 5. So instead of 60, this will stay 50. And then we're looking at the uh, ones again, and it's higher than five. So this is going to tell me that I'm going to need to round the tens number up to 40. Now I have zero plus zero, zero, five plus four is nine equals 90. And lastly, we're going to look down here, for one of the hundreds problems. And um, instead of looking at the ones this time, since I'm rounding to the nearest hundred, I have to look at my tens. Uh, if I look at my tens here, I see that I have uh, one is less than five, so it's going to round down. So instead of being 519, now it's going to be 500. So whenever you're rounding, key to when you're rounding, if you know you're rounding nearest 10, you know the ones is going to have a zero in it. If you round to nearest hundreds, you know there's going to be more, um, there's going to be a zero in the tens and the ones. Now there was an exception up here, but that was because this number was very close already to 200. Now, um, back to this problem here. So again, I, I know the, there's going to be two zeros here for a fact, because I'm rounding to the nearest 100. So I look at my tens. Again, it's less than 5. So this number is going to, the hundredths number is going to stay the same. And the overall number is going to go down to 100. So 500 plus 100 equals 600. And that's how we add with rounding. 